Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all up well. Today I have a spring capsule wardrobe. It's still not feeling very spring-like in England, um, especially in Manchester where I am. It's very much still wintry, but I'm so over winter and so ready for the new season. Um, so I thought I'd get going with the capsule wardrobe and hopefully in the next few weeks, the weather will start changing and things will start looking a little bit brighter. So two things to note this morning, I woke up to half a million followers on Instagram, which is just insane, so crazy um, to think that half a million people are now following me um, and have seen my videos and watch my reels and etc etc it's just crazy so if you are one of those thank you so much it honestly means so much to me this is sounds very rambly and oscar speechy but i do really really appreciate it and if you don't follow me on there and you would like to my handle is at lydia jane tomlinson at the moment i'm really focusing on reels it seems to be where i gain my most traction i'm doing a lot of short quick tip style videos that will help you in your wardrobe very much like I do on YouTube um, I'm focused on styling and not necessarily hauls but how to wear things um, etc so if you don't follow me already go and give me a follow over on Instagram I'll of course leave the handle below and then another thing to note is my gorgeous new artwork in the background you probably picked up on that now I love my print beforehand my print was from Decenio it was like um a blue and gold one however I think it looked better when we had the like plastic kind of cover on it but we had to take that off because of the reflection in the camera when we were filming it just didn't work with the filming so we had to take that off so it kind of looked a bit more postery still really like that and we've now put that up in our office room and we were very very kindly created this piece by a lovely lady called Isabel Grace Fuller Art that's her Instagram handle again I will leave her below and um, she ships worldwide as well which is so nice she's such a lovely person as well which it's always nice when you're kind of dealing with somebody who's an independent brand and you know that they're really kind and trustworthy etc so that is something to note as I say I'll leave her link below but it's such a stunning piece you'll be able to see it um, full when I do my cutaways but the detail on it is impeccable and what's so nice about it is that it's very minimal and neutral so it goes perfectly with the rest of the room and our other pieces and um, some of the cushions and lamp we have it goes really well with that but the detail in it is so amazing like it has these gold flecks and it's like almost like a gold kind of spray paint paint it's got really nice shades in it that you only kind of pick up when you study it closely but it just works so well all together it's like it kind of suits my style well in that kind of a bit of attention to detail and the importance is in the detail but overall it looks quite simple and minimalistic so I think that's why I love it so much so huge thank you um, to Isabel and I will be leaving her handle below like I said um, so I just thought I'd give those two things a little mention before I started the video I hope you're all well let's crack on with the video before I do <laughs> actually I just mentioned that this um, padded shoulder top is from Naked Fashion I will be linking that below actually it looks really nice just worn alone as well but I popped a shirt under it because like I say it's not that warm today I uh, just got a shirt from Cezanne on and then of course my um, jewellery collection with North School that is what I'm wearing today so now I'm going to begin so actually I'm going to move this dress further down here because I'm going to talk about tops first. Now if you've watched my capsule wardrobe videos in the past not much has changed and I think that's kind of the beauty of it and kind of shows you how capsule these wardrobes are because there's not really much difference maybe a few different pieces or a swap to similar kind of piece for something that's a bit newer and um, so yeah it's very similar to the past ones few little updates. Now the first piece it doesn't necessarily I've got a candle down here um, so this is a bit precarious against the candle um, but I've got this blue shirt now it doesn't necessarily have to be a blue shirt however they're very on trend at the moment if you watch my spring summer trend video I had to think about that then if you watch that I mentioned that these are very much in at the moment so this is from Pixie Market I'll link a few alternatives 
below. Um, really nice staple piece. You can wear this for work right through to the beach. You could wear this as a cover up. It's so nice in the evening, dressed up with a pair of trousers, big earrings, some strappy heels. It really is something that covers you on all occasions. It's such a nice piece and I personally think the blue gives you a little lift. I think blue is very flattering on most skin tones. If you kind of find the right shade of blue for you, you might be a lighter tone than this or a dark blue might suit you better. But I definitely think it does suit quite a variety of skin tones. Now you could go for a white shirt, but I thought for this case, I would pop a blue one in because my next piece is a white t-shirt. So I didn't want too much white. Now, this is just a basic white t-shirt. Now, the one I wear all the time and the one I rave about is my Arquette one. Um, it's in the wash at the moment and it washes really well. So just to note that the 15 pounds and yeah, the fabric on it is very good. However, this one equally as good, I would say. It's from Cezanne, which obviously is a really lovely brand um, and the quality with Cezanne is always good. I think this is a slightly higher price point, but again, really classic, basic white t-shirt. You could go oversize if you want, you could size up, um, but something really staple like this, it'll go under everything. Now, I found it really hard to condense this because I have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know this and maybe your wardrobe is the same. Or is that where I have a lot of basic staple pieces. So I had to really think about how I'm going to pop these in a capsule wardrobe and which colours to go for and which styles because I have a lot of good staples that you can easily mix and match. So I've tried to narrow it down. So the next thing is a basic tank top. Now I got this. This is from Everlane, so I think this should still be around. I got this last year. Really nice, simple tank top. I've tried to look for other brands, and there's barely anything apart from an £80 totem one. Obviously, the quality will probably be there on that, but £80 is very steep for a tank top, I think. Um, so, yeah, I think the Everlane one, really nice staple piece. Pop under everything. Again, dressed up in the evening will look perfect too. And you don't necessarily have to get, get grey, I know grey isn't for everybody, um, but staple tank top, white, black, nude, grey, you get the gist. Now my next top I would go for is a lightweight merino knit, and you'll know I include these in every capsule wardrobe and there is a reason, they are so useful. I love wearing these in the evening, you can wear these just over your shoulders, you can wear them in the daytime, such a staple piece for someone like me who isn't always warm and just needs that extra something around your arms. Merino is nice, lightweight, uh, but not too thin. Um, so this one's from Cos. I think they still do these. Um, what size did I get? I got a medium, which I think I prefer it li a little bit looser like that. Um, I bought my mum one because I raved about it so much and she loves it too. Real, real staple piece. And if I can't find that, I'll find something really similar because I do think they are useful. Now in terms of brands for a capsule wardrobe, I would look towards quality a little bit more. That doesn't need to be unaffordable. Um, you could go to H&M and go for their conscious range. You could go to Uniqlo, um, Everlane, as I say, Arquette's a really good one for that. And then things like slightly more independent brands like Pixie Market, like Sana New York that I'm going to show you. And other stories as well as a good one for capsule wardrobe quality, oh, Suzanne as well. So the next piece, Finally for tops is a sweatshirt. Now this is just, again, a basic gray sweatshirt. It doesn't need to be gray, but I think a simple round neck sweatshirt like this will go with everything. It dresses things down if you're wearing something a bit smarter. You could wear it with a skirt. You could wear it with trousers, you could wear it with joggers. You know, it kind of fits all ranges. This is from Adenola, um, but again, you can get them from everywhere and I will link one below, but I do think these are particularly useful. I only have one dress on the stand today. Um, that is because for me, dresses are a little bit more limiting in terms of capsule wardrobe because you can't mix and match quite in the same way. However, I think this one is a really useful piece and a knitted dress is something you could wear for every occasion and it's nice to just have that one dress in your wardrobe um, that you know you can just pull out and it kind of works for all things. So this is from Pretty Lavish. Um, it goes right down to the floor. Now I just did a reel wearing this um, and the reel was how to look taller. So this is definitely a key piece for that because it's 
pretty maxi length and it draws the eye right down and um, right to the top as well because it's got quite a high collar really comfortable you could wear this with trainers and a leather jacket or you could wear this with heels in the evening so really nice staple piece uh, for a dress and i got this in an extra small okay let's move on to the trousers now so this for me ticks two boxes so instead of showing you two different pairs i thought i'd combine them in one now these again are from pixie market now this to me, as I say, fits two boxes. One is the cargo style trousers, which I think is really useful, but also a light pair of trousers in a neutral light shade. Could be anything, could be the crease leg ones from H&M that I've worn so much. It could be something like these, um, they're a bit more cargo-y style, something camel-y, um, or then if, they, if you are going for cargo, something khaki maybe would work really well um, with the color palette. So these are from Pixie Market, really nice. Again, heels, loafers, black shoes, trainers, boots. You could wear this with anything. And also style it pretty much. You can definitely style it with every single one of these tops. Now the one skirt I've got on here is a pencil skirt and it's a leather pencil skirt. Now I've not included one of these in my um, capsule wardrobe videos before. Um, however, I do normally like to include a skirt. I think this is a really useful piece. Now, if you're in a slightly more casual work environment, it would very much work for that either with a simple knit or a shirt, look really chic with some chunky loafers maybe, also, I just think this is so nice for spring and summer. You don't have to um, go for those typical spring and summer fabrics. Obviously, depending on where you live, but say here, where we don't have boiling hot days all the time, this is really nice, just with bare legs, a t-shirt, a tank top, dress right down with trainers, or again, then you could go really dressy with this and wear it in the evening for a date. You could put a nice satin blouse with this. So there are so many ways to wear it, and I really do think a staple I think leather definitely can be worn in summer I love um, my leather trousers with sandals for example and this with sandals would look really nice too so my next is a pair of light colored jeans these ones are from H&M so so useful I wear them well I've been wearing them all the time since I got them a really nice useful pair go with trainers heels etc again it would go with all of these tops and they're just a really nice color shade they're like a beigey but if you wanted to go for more of an off-white pair that would certainly work as well i've included my under the stories off-white ones in the past i know um but these are just a new season edition and hopefully they're still in stock try and leave below h&m stock levels go out so quickly i don't know if you've noticed that but they literally fly off the shelves now the next one this is a classic for me the straight black trousers you know how many times i've included these in videos these ones are from novo london really really good quality you can tell the quality on this is premium and um, definitely worth spending a little bit more if you wear a black trousers a lot these are a really nice shape i got an eight in these i think um and yeah just so so useful goes with absolutely everything and i love to dress my black trousers I love to dress my black trousers right down with a pair of trainers. And then finally for trousers, I wanted to share a slightly seasonal update. Now these are the slouchy jeans, the Stradivarius ones that have almost sold out now. Um, I've talked about them and raved about them so much and I know quite a few of you have bought them already, but they are such a useful shape and pair. I think H&M have a similar kind of style, but this style is going to be a big one for the new season. But saying that, I also think they're a really wearable piece and they're just a basic denim, again, that will go with everything. But if you're looking for a slightly seasonal update, then these kind of jeans are the ones for you. And like I say, we'll go with all of these tops and probably all of the jackets as well. So speaking of jackets, let's move on. Now first is a black blazer. You can't go wrong with a black blazer. It looks so good in the evening with a simple tank top with your jeans or you could wear it in the daytime with jeans and trainers so useful um black in spring perfect to wear don't feel like you have to wear all light colors in spring black is just as useful obviously it couldn't be a spring capsule wardrobe without the mention of a trench coat this one's from sauna new york they do an amazing line of trench coats if you're looking to spend a little bit on a trench coat because you know you'll wear it so much bring it out year after year then sauna new york is a place to go i'll link some more high street alternatives as well but the quality and finish on this is perfect and i've pulled this out 
time and time again. I don't know if this exact style is still available, but I will be linking the brand below. Now, the next piece is a smarter coat. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. A light colored smart coat um, would fit the bill. Maybe something that's not lined. Zara do a great range of these kind of coats, but something a little bit smarter that you can pair with something casual and dress it down, um, or just kind of wear in the evening. You want to still be warm, especially if we're doing more outdoor dining um, this year. Something like a smart coat would work really well for in the evening time. So this one's from Zara. Again, a neutral color, it's khaki. Big trend of the season, but also will go with everything. Mix and match really nice with beiges and whites, etc. And yeah, just think a smarter style coat is really useful. Next is the spring blazer. I'm really hoping H&M bring this back. It's a wool blend one. Um, and since I bought it, it just completely went offline. So very disappointed about that. Obviously sold out so quickly, but I just love everything about this. It's oversized, but I went for an extra small. It's still oversized. Um, I will be linking some below. I know H&M still have them and Arquette does a really similar color version of this, but a nice light colored spring blazer. You can't go wrong with it. will go with everything smarten up your outfits and keep them nice and bright and spring-like. So next is the quilted coat and I actually on Instagram did a reel about essential spring jackets and of course the quilted coat was included in there. This is from Arquette. Um, I have a couple of quilted coats actually but this one really nice. I love this round detail here. It's a bit kind of totem vibes but yeah I love the quilted coats. They're so Fresh, modern, on trend, but also classic, really wearable, something you can throw on out the house, um, but look still quite chic and polished. And then my final jacket is the leather jacket. This one is my oversized one from Zara, but really easy to just throw on over something. You want to toughen up an outfit a little bit, a summer dress or something a bit more feminine, pop this on and create a bit more of a contrast. Oh, I really like doing that with this jacket. Um, so useful and like I say, just kind of gives it that edge. So I've decided to just include two bags. Now one is a black bag. I've gone for a bit more of a structured style here. This again will work for work, but also really nice worn crossbody at the weekend. It's a little bit bigger, so it fits more in. But yeah, this one's from Pollen Paris. Really useful, really versatile. And it's always good to have a black bag just to throw on. It kind of goes with everything. And then I got my um, mini Bottega pouch bag. This goes with so much, especially in the spring, those lighter shades and blues, it looks so good with blue. Um, so it really will be a versatile and useful bag. You can also wear this as a clutch, which I think is key. If you're only going to invest in one or two bags, make sure one of them works for evening. Um, and this certainly does because you can pop this strap inside the bag and just use it as a clutch. Belts wise, again, I've only chosen two. One is my Isabel Morant belt. Now this is the tan shade, it also comes in black. I got the size small in this. It's so useful, it goes with everything. And the brighter tan shade just lightens things up. And because it's got no hardware on it, you don't need to match it to any of your jewelry really or anything else that you're wearing. And then the other one I've gone for a plain black silver belt. If you're more of a gold wearer, then go for a black one with a gold buckle. Um, but I just thought I'd show you a silver one this time to mix things up a little bit. Um, this one's from Marquette, but I'll try and find similar. I think this one's out of stock now. But both really useful wearable belts. Then of course you always want a pair of sunglasses that goes with everything. These are my YSL ones. The YSL Kate sunglasses, I'll try and link them below. They're just a simple black cat eye. They really do go with absolutely everything. Being black, it doesn't really matter what you're wearing. And so we move on to shoes. I only have four pairs of shoes to last me all of spring. So these are my Chanel flats. I don't necessarily suggest going to buy these exact ones, but just a pair of simple ballet flats. There are loads on the high street. If, you're, uh, if you wear white a lot, maybe go for a white pair, go for a beige pair. Just a nice neutral pair of ballet flats will stand you in good stead all season. They look really nice um, worn with something a bit heavier like um, the jeans just to balance out the daintiness of the shoes. But yeah, really useful. I think you'll find you get a lot of wear out of plain flat. My next are the trainers. Now you can't go wrong with a good pair of trainers, especially a white pair. Now these ones I've been obsessing with. These are my, I did, Adidas, now somebody corrected me and said which one the right one was. 
Adidas um, Continental 80 trainers. These ones have got the beige on the back. I highly, highly recommend these trainers. They're so comfortable. I didn't need to break them in. I got my true to size. Actually, sometimes I'm a bit bigger than a, a 39, so I could have gone for the 39 and a half. However, I went for the 39 because I do in my Stan Smiths and they fit really well. And now some recommendations say go up a size and then some say true to size. I would personally say true to size. Now, if you want to throw a pair of heels into the mix, I've got these Aloha ones here with the small heel, just something really simple, maybe a light nudie color that just goes with all the neutrals and things like that. These you can just wear with everything. Sometimes black, I think, can look a bit heavy if you're wearing a lighter outfit, but these will still go with a black outfit, so they'll balance that out really nicely. Like I say, these are from Aloha, really simple, timeless, classic heels. And then finally, my last pair of shoes are the Gucci backless loafers. Again, not necessarily saying go out and buy these, but I think a light colored loafer like this really works well with all these pieces. Probably black loafers work too, but I find that these go with so much in spring. These are um, like the torpy colored version. Um, and yeah, they're so useful comfortable and go with everything. Finally, I'm going to finish with jewelry. Now, I believe that all the pieces um, in my collection with No School Woman really are capsule wardrobe staple pieces. Um, all of them, you could pick and choose any that you like and they will work for every day. I'm just picking out a few here. So what I'm wearing is the um, Mazuga ring on one hand and then the Zagora double ring on another hand. Now these are just both two really simple um, everyday rings that you can pop on, wear this Mazuga one by itself or stack it up and the same with the Zagora. And then earrings wise, now I've got these ones, these are called the Dra earrings and they're like a kind of sort of hammered gold. But I also think these Habib T ones work really well. They're not quite a hoop, but they also work for every day. They're kind of like that cross between noticeable but also blends in with your outfit and then bracelets wise i've got the amphidouble chain if you're more of a minimalist person and want something simple like that you could wear this by itself or kind of mix and match and i've put the cherry t-bar bracelet with that just to um give it kind of a bit of a double thing but i believe everything in the collection is a real staple so go and have a browse on there and see what you think and see what you like because i know you'll find something that would work for your wardrobe also quite a few of the pieces come in silver as well if you're more of a silver person <laughs>
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and more importantly, I hope you found it useful for your wardrobe. Let me know if you'll be adding any of these pieces into your existing wardrobe or maybe you have quite a lot of these from the past because I know, like I said, this is very similar to my previous ones, which I know um, it's almost repeating it, but I think that's what the capsule wardrobe is, isn't it? Otherwise, it wouldn't be a capsule wardrobe. You wouldn't be able to wear it year after year. So I think it's kind of a good thing in a way. So thanks so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. That would mean so much to me. And give it a thumbs up now that you have watched the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you'd like to see from future videos. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.